For more on the state championship game, let's head back to Columbia and check in with Audrey Dahlgren. Audrey. Hi, Frank. As you can see behind me, it's pretty calm now, but a lot earlier today you saw that the complete chaos, the complete, complete elation from this Kirkwood team. It's their first title that they won since 2012, the first one in Class 6, that last title was in class five, but you know the wind all night it they clocked it at 22 miles per hour at one point and that had nothing on Reese Goddard and the Kirkwood Pioneers. You know, you knew it was going to be a magical night because they opened the game on a three play scoring drive that took 53 seconds to complete and by halftime it was already 21 seven and another thing too, Blue Springs. Their whole preparation was trying to stop Goddard and he had three TDs through the air, one on the ground. He threw for 196 yards and he ran for 140. So that game plan didn't work very well, but uh, we're going to throw it to the quarterback who uh, had a lot to say about what it means to him to win this state championship title. We we knew after the first half we were the better team and we just had a the whole thing was finish and keep executing. Mm -hmm. Just couldn't make mental errors. What is this moment like? Well, I, for our school, our program, our community, it's it, you know, it's everything. Uh, we beat, we beat a class program over there. I think we've come, we come through a very tough schedule, and, and St. Louis football is, is real good physical football. Uh, and, uh, you know, tonight we came out, and, you know, we're probably not better than them, but we were better tonight. How will you best remember this day? Uh, most Mostly the guys probably because <clears throat> the goal is always getting a state championship, but I'd take the relationships we've built with the teammates this year over that because I've never been so close with, like, 40 guys in my life. So after that, too, when I asked him, you know, their game plan was to stop him. And he goes, there's a whole team behind me. And it's not just me that they needed to stop. And apparently not. Also, too, the one cool thing about tonight is that Jeremy Macklin was in the house. You showed him in the highlights a little bit earlier. And Goddard tonight, he has now surpassed Jeremy Macklin for the career scoring record at Kirkwood. It was 265 set by Macklin. And now it's 266 with one more game to go. Of course, the Turkey Day game that's coming up on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving against Webster Groves. We'll be back here in a little bit with another team that's looking for a program first. But on that note, Frank, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Audrey, good work from Columbia.